Okay, in this segment, we're supposed to pick up the stitches for the thumb off the gusset area here. Um, just a note that um, the thumb pattern actually has a front and a back. So I've determined that this side should be on the thumb print side, and this will be the outer side of your thumb. So just you have to pick up. Because of course, unfortunately, instead of just picking up the stitches, you also have to pick them up in the right color. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I was kind of confused about picking up stitches, so I did a little itty bitty swatch because I couldn't really see anything in my glut because I had so much yarn with the two um, yarns being used for that cast on. Um, so I did up a little swatch here. This basically looks like a thumb hole, like what we're working, and then figured out how to pick up the stitches. Now, basically, what we're going to do is pick up. Um, the stitches below the cast on at the top of the last V. So basically into the last V underneath the cast on. In the last V underneath the cast on. In the last V underneath the cast on. As you can see here in the little sample I did, each one of the the new cast or the new um, stitches that I picked up are at the very end of one of the columns of knit stitches. Okay. Yeah, that took me a long time to figure that out. Can you tell? <laughs> Alright, so on the glitten, um, this little bugger here, our waist yarn, was put in between rows 21 and 22. So this row here is 21. The row under it, which kind of almost gets folded, is this, this second row here. That's the one we want to work into because that one is row number 20. And it was row number 20 was the very first knit that we did across after having done the cast on. So, where's that pattern? Oh, okay. Now, so if you stretch your glutton out, you'll see, okay, here's like in mine, this, this row here was the extending row, okay? So I don't have to worry about these stitches. However, I am going to go back when I'm done and pick up one of these sides on each, a stitch on each side. Because otherwise, see how loose these are? You'll wind up, and I know I'll wind up with it. Maybe somebody who knits a lot won't, but I will be certain to wind up with a hole. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up a stitch on each end as well. And it tells you that you can do that in the directions. Okay, so to pick up a stitch, the very first stitch according to the pattern should be a yellow stitch. So all I have to do first is figure out where the heck the yellow stitch should be. Alright, so if I know this is my, my um, continual knitting, so then my first stitch is going to be the brown one. And like I said, this was the waist yarn, then row 22, and row, I mean 21, and then row 22. So just kind of poke your you can poke your needle in there. You can use a crochet hook too if this gets like a little weird. And then um, just kind of try and hold the yarn. I, I like to kind of double it and slip it on there. And then pull it through. So I've now created one stitch, and that's okay. I want to leave. I want to leave enough extra over here so that I can make sure that I can pick up my that other stitch as well as weave this in. Okay, so I picked up one yellow. Then I'm going to pick up a a brown. Holy moly! Okay, so then I'm going to go to the next available spot which is going to be right between the V. So just poke it in there and again make a little loop. I would probably use a crochet hook but I don't I have some really junky small ones. <laughs> I mean really junky. In fact I broke one of them trying to make something. forget what I was working on. The fiery dragon scarf or something. Okay, then after that, now of course you're going to want to have to continue to weave, you know how that goes. Okay, so then here's my next spot, and I'm going to poke it in there. 
and it's supposed to be yellow. So I'm not sure how much weaving needs to really be done with this. Um, since really it is every other one now that I look at the pattern, so I guess really technically you don't have to worry about the weaving part, which is good because that might just drive me to the end of my world. Okay, um, I'm going to continue to work on this. <laughs> And um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to have all my 13 stitches attached through the little V's. And then um, what we'll do in the next video is I'll show you how to pick up the side, one on each side, and um, maybe start that first row.